right, team? Today, we're going to work on an elevator for the skyscraper. Awesome! Yay! Um, an elevator? Well, Muck, when you've got a building as tall as this, it's far too high to get up and down using the stairs. So, we build a little carriage you can ride called an elevator. Press a button, and it will take you all the way to the top. Where you can see all of Spring City. Wow! All of Spring City! I want to see all of Spring City! Can I ride the elevator? Please, 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 please! Sorry, Scoop. I think you're a bit too big for the elevator. Yeah! Your back end would hang out. Oh. Tiny, can we have the loading cage, please? Coming right down, Bob. Thanks, Tiny. Now we'll head up to the top and get started. Can you guys load those materials into the cage for us, please? No problem, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Sorry I'm late. Hello, Bob. Oh, hello, Mayor Madison. Hi, team! Hi, Hi Mayor Madison. Madison! Hello, hello Mr. Mr. Bentley! Oh, <laughs> hello, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. That will do. Now, Bob. I'd like to go up to the top floor, please. There may be a bit of a problem with that. We haven't put the elevator in yet. But I have to get my photo taken at the top for the cover of tomorrow's Spring City Chronicle. A mayor surveys her city. We're just about to start installing it now. Maybe you could come back later? Oh. There is the service one. No, I don't think so. We'll come back later. Mr. Bentley? Oh, well, uh, uh, we could come back at four. Four? Four it is, then. That means I'll have plenty of time to get my hair done. A mayor always has to look her best. Well, if the mayor wants to go to the top at four, we better get moving. Okay, little guys, load me up. Oh, I wish I could see the view from the top. All of Spring City. You're okay, Gull. You can go to the top of the skyscraper anytime you like. Time for some tower power! Wait a minute. Maybe I can get to the top of the skyscraper. And I won't need to wait. Let's get this motor up and running. Leo and I will bolt it into place, and Wendy, you can wire it in. Okay, okay Bob. Bob. cage down again, please. We've got an extra heavy load to send up for Bob. Coming right down. One extra heavy load coming up. What are you doing, Scoop? I'm going to see everything in Spring City. Um, I really don't think that's a good idea. Don't you worry about me, Lofty. I'll keep my wheels inside the car at all times. Extra heavy load for the top floor, Tiny. Time for some more tower power! I'm going up! I'm going up! I'm still going up! Oh, no! Well, this is higher than I thought! Can you see all of Spring City, Scoop? Yes! All of it, Mark! What does it look like? A long way down. I don't think he 
likes it as much as he thought he would. Okay, now we've just got to install the elevator car and the... That sounds like Scoop. Oh, no! What's he doing up there? Wishing he was down here by the sound of things. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Stay in the middle, Whoa. Scoop! It'll help you balance! Whoa. Whoa! Tiny, you need to lower the cage. Scoop's on board. Okay, Bob. Going down. Whoa. Where did he go? Scoop, are you all right? Oh, no! I'm balancing! But I'm not good at balancing! What are we going to do? I've got an idea. Tiny, lower the cage down to me. Wendy, we're going to need the welding equipment. Okay, Bob. I'll get the welding masks. Tiny, take me up. Nearly there. Take it in steady. Slow down and stop. Perfect. Scoop? Bob! I need you to roll carefully towards me. I don't think I can move. You have to. I need to get you down. I'm really sorry, Bob. No more medicine will come back and there's no elevator. It'll be fine. Come on. Just move towards me. I can't. Okay. Then I'm coming to get you. Bob's walking across the beam. No, Bob. That's dangerous. Stay where you are. I'm coming. Okay then, Scoop. Take it really slowly. Keep going, Scoop. Keep your wheels in line. That's good. Don't look down. You're doing great. Hold it steady, Tiny. Well done. Now keep your brakes on. Take us down slowly, Tiny. Are we nearly down yet, Bob? Nearly, Scoop. Nearly. Hooray! <laughs> what on earth were you doing up there, Scoop? I'm sorry, everyone. I just really wanted to go up to the top and see all of Spring City. I said it was a bad idea. Well, at least you're okay. But it was a really silly thing to do. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. Right. If we all work together, we might still get the job done in time. Done. Hello, team. Mayor Madison. My hair is done, and I'm ready for my photo at the top of the skyscraper. You'll have to wear one of these if you're going to the top of the skyscraper. Oh. Okay. We just need the elevator. One for you, too, Mr. Bentley. Oh, thank you, Leo. Uh, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Going up all the way to the top. Well, at least you got to see all of Spring City, Scoop. I did. But I think this digger will be keeping his wheels firmly on the ground from now on. Ready for my close-up, Mr. Bentley. Oh, uh... No, 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 shoe! 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 Get, get off! Get off! Not sure. She looks quite her best. <laughs> I've seen her look better. Get off! Oh, do something, Mr. Bentley! Get some food seed!
Hard hat, check. Tool belt, check. Mayonnaise, check. Can I fix lunch? Yes, I can. Wendy and Leo don't know how lucky they are today, Pilchard. I'm making them a surprise. Sardine sandwiches a la Bob. <laughs> Morning, team. Morning, Morning Bob. Bob. Let's go. Today, we're finishing work on Chef Tatty's brand new revolving restaurant, the Flying Saucepan. Woohoo! Awesome. It looks like a spaceship. That's the whole idea, Scoop. So I'll be building the kitchen while Leo, Muck, Scoop, and Lofty will decorate this entrance. We'll have a spaceship ramp and moon rocks to make it look like we're on another planet. Yay! Yay! And I'll be wiring the floor so that it turns round and round like a merry-go-round, so diners can enjoy different scenery while they eat. Does that sound fun? Yay! Yay! And for you two, an extra special treat. I've made my speciality dish for lunch. Sardine sandwiches. Yay! Yay. I knew you'd be excited. Hello, Chef Tatty. Oh, it's my favorite team of building buddies. Can we give you a hand? Aye, they're ingredients for my chef's special at the opening banquet tonight. Creamy eggplant fettuccine and flame-grilled meatballs with a hint of rosemary. Mmm, now that sounds delicious. But not quite as delicious as my sardine surprise, huh? Okay, team. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Great job, everyone. It really looks like the kind of place an alien would call home. Um, what's an alien? Everyone knows what an alien is. It's, uh, um... Leo, what's an alien? Aliens are little green men. Visitors from a faraway planet. Like tourists? On a vacation. What do they look like? Well, I think they have, um, green skin. And three eyes. And four legs. And for breakfast, they like to eat... Lunch! I'll be back soon. Stay out of trouble, you three. Prepare for liftoff. In three, two, one. Little green men look like friendly little creatures. I'd love to meet one. <gasps> look! Green footprints! With one, two, three, four feet! They must belong to a little green man! Perhaps he's here on vacation in Spring City! Yay! Yay! Come on, everyone! Follow me! The little green man went this way! Oh, that's the last floor panel fitted. Let's take it for a test spin. Bravo! That is beautiful! With this remote control, we can change the speed of the revolving floor. You can even change direction. Great job, Wendy. You've certainly earned your sardine sandwiches. I hope everyone's hungry. Feast your eyes on these delicious crumbs. Someone's eaten all of my sardine sandwiches. Not a problem. Why not just whip up an omelette on the cooktop? Oh, um, I'm afraid I don't know how to make anything fancy. Trust me, my wee building buddy. Anyone can cook. Chef Tatty will teach you. 
You see, cooking is a simple art. This is my paintbrush. Just like this is your paintbrush. That's a hammer. That's sizzle. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Bob. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. OK, Bob. Ready, steady, flip! What happened to the... omelette? Lunch is served. Bon appetit. Uh, looks scrumptious. <laughs> Tasted better when it was on my head. I guess not everyone's a whiz in the kitchen. Are we going faster? That's not supposed to happen. Whoa! Maybe he wants to go home. Uh, uh oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. Help. Bob, do something! Fast! Whoa. Oh. oh! Got it! Pilchard, care for a sardine sandwich a la Bob for dinner? At least someone likes my cooking. Leo? Chef Tatty? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We've only got an hour until the guests arrive, and we need to finish the kitchen. And I need to finish my banquet. Mayor Madison's the guest of honor, and she's never late. We'd better get building. I'd better get cooking. And voila! The little green man didn't go home after all. He's decided to stay. He's here. I'll try to talk to him. <clears throat> Greetings, space tourists from a faraway planet. I am your friend, Muck. Hello, Muck. It speaks. Leo? And Pilchard! She's got green paint on her paws! So it wasn't a little green man. But a little blue cat! Oh. <laughs> now I feel a bit silly. Oh, <laughs> You are a friendly little creature after all. Wow! Doesn't this alien entrance look fabulous, Mr. Bentley? Look, Mayor. There's even a trail of alien footprints. A nice touch. Mm -hmm, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Voila! Mm -hmm. Delicious. Thank you, Chef Taddy. <laughs> and thank you, Bob. 
You truly are a whiz in the kitchen. Just stay away from omelettes and sardine sandwiches. Should be a simple enough job, Wendy. New barriers at the entrance to the town hall and paving for the driveway. Well, if we're digging all this old stuff up, we'll need to attach Scoop's high-powered breaker. Yes! I love having a turn on the da-da-da-da. It's a breaker, Scoop. A breaker. You really should learn the word. Bob! Oh. Mayor Madison. I want everything looking perfect for the grand unveiling of the statue. Grand, grand unveiling? unveiling? A statue of what, Mayor Madison? <clears throat> a statue of the most inventive, energetic, and forward-thinking person in Spring City history. Are we talking about a statue of you, Mayor Madison? Yes, we are, Wendy. How did you guess? And when it arrives, Bob, I want you to put it right there. No problem. Oh, actually, I'd better take a photo of you, Mayor, and send it off to the sculptor or it won't be done in time. Oh, dear. This thing is so finicky. Uh, oh. Oh, hmm, hmm. Come on, Mr. Bentley. I can only hold this smile for so long. Ah, there. All done. I think. There. How does that feel, Scoop? Perfect. I love having a turn on the da-da-da-da. Scoop, it's called a breaker. It's easy to remember because it's good at breaking stuff up. Oh, I get it now. Can I start it yet, Bob? Can I start it? I'm so excited! Oh, I get nervous when Scoop gets overexcited. And he always gets overexcited when he uses the breaker. What's the breaker? The da 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 No, the da 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 is the da 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 Oh, that's just the noise it makes. Noise what, mate? The da 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 I mean the breaker. Uh, look, just try not to get overexcited, please. Now, Scoop, you need to dig down to the level of the string or the rainwater won't drain away properly. Got it? Yep, got it, Bob. Can I start it up now? I want to get breaking! I mean, careful breaking, of course. Can I? Please, 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 please! Okay, Scoop, but only if you help answer one question. What's that, Bob? Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Scoop, we don't need to dig down to the Earth's core. Is that far? Whoa! Look out, Scoop! I just mean, be careful with the da 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 da. Okay, no need to shout. This is so much fun! Well, it works, Bob. It's just not working properly. I'll take a look. No, no. I think I know what the problem is. Twist this knob, switch the voltage. Now, Wendy, try it again. Looking good. Just needed some Bob magic. Oh. Uh, that might be a little fast. Actually, maybe some Wendy magic might be better. Woohoo! This is a life! I love my job! Don't you think you should slow down a bit, Scoop? I can't hear you, Muck. I've got the da 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 on. Shouldn't you be taking that rubble away? Right. Now I can get some real work done without interruptions. Uh-oh. I've sprung a leak! How are you doing, Scoop? Uh, yeah, 
everything's going fine, Bob. Just having a breather. <laughs> Phew! This digging is hard work, eh? Well, you're doing a great job. Hey, did you hear that? Don't worry, Bob. It's probably just my hydraulics. Oh, yeah, nothing to see here. Well, listen, as a reward for working so hard, you can be the first to test out the new barrier. Really, Bob? That would be awful. No, Bob, I'd better not. Uh, there's still a lot to do. Actually, we're in pretty good shape. Come on, Scoop. Everyone deserves a break now and then. Uh, I just got something I need to figure out. It's, uh... uh you go ahead. I'll see you there. Oh, there go my hydraulics again. Uh, was that Wendy just calling for you? I didn't hear anything. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, gull. I didn't listen to anyone and now I've sprung a leak and got to keep it covered up. Bob's coming. Actually, maybe Muck can help me. Anything else for me to get rid of? Uh, no, not at the moment, Muck. In fact, you could have a little rest if you wanted. I'm fine. No, you look tired. Everyone deserves a break now and then. You know where a grey spot to take five is? Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, well, it has been quite a hard morning. Yeah, and we're in pretty good shape. Oh. Okay, Scoop. Now. Okay, Wendy. Look, there's Scoop coming through. That was cool. Can I have another turn? Of course you can, but we should let one of the others have a turn first. Hey, Mott, do you want to have a zoom through the new automatic barrier? Oh, yes, please, Bob. Hang on, Muck. If you're here, then who's... Who's what, Scoop? Uh, uh... Nothing! Doesn't matter! See you in a minute! Whoa! Scoop coming through! Emergency! Oh, Scoop, what have you done? Oh, dear, what have I done? What a mess. What are we going to do now, Bob? About the leak or the paving slabs? Well, one thing's for sure. We're never going to finish the driveway in time for the grand opening. I'm so sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I, I should have told you about the leak. Yes, you should have. But don't worry, Scoop. We'll think of something. But the paving slabs are all broken. They're like puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces. Scoop, you've given me an idea. Oh, are we going to go home and do a puzzle, Bob? No, Muck. We're going to lay down some seriously crazy paving. Ready, team? Let's go! Quiet, please. Quiet, everyone, as we unveil this statue of, uh, uh, oh, one of our town's greatest heroes. Ready, Bob? Ready. Go for it, Lofty. What is that? Oh, uh... Dear me, I must have sent the wrong picture. 
that appears to be uh, me on my last vacation. Uh oh. Well, at least someone likes the statue. Well, that's the last vacation you'll be taking for some time, Mr. Bentley. Hi! Hey, Wendy! Hi, Bob! Hi, Lockie! The Spring City Rockets! Wow! Bob and Wendy are building you that treehouse? Not me, JJ. Us! I want it to be the Spring City Rockets' first ever clubhouse! Not quite what we had planned. Our first clubhouse? Really, Safi? Yeah! Wendy's my hero, and she can build anything! Right, Wendy? <laughs> hero, eh? How can I say no to that? And we can hold our first club meeting today at lunchtime! You want the treehouse finished today? By lunchtime? Yes, please. That's okay, isn't it, Wendy? Of course. I am a hero after all. Awesome! Thank you! It'll be the best clubhouse ever! Okay, team. We're building one fancy treehouse, and we've got half a day to do it. We're going to need a new schedule. Bob and Muck, you go back to the yard and cut the timber for the support beams. Lofty, you stay here and help me, and then I'll call Dizzy to pour cement for the foundations. Well, Hero Wendy, it's your job. I think you'd better say it. Really, Bob? Okay, then. <clears throat> can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Scoop! Sorry, but I can't be disturbed. I need to get these support beams cut to size. What are you doing now? Same thing as just now. Scoop, if you're bored, why don't you straighten up the new delivery of rocks? Phew. Oh, sorry, Bob. Did I disturb you? Floor painted, check. Paint drying, check. Hey, I'm here to help get the treehouse ready. Lofty, according to my schedule, it's time to hang that rope ladder. Uh, Wendy? Yes? You know that floor panel you just painted? Yes. Um... Safi, wait! The paint's not dry! Wendy, what's wrong? Is everything okay with the treehouse? Yes, everything's fine. I just need to check the paint. Phew, because I really want to amaze the others. Lofty, change to the schedule. I'm now repainting the floor. Thanks, Muck. Can you take them to Wendy? And quickly, I'm a little behind schedule. Isn't that right, Scoop? Don't worry, Bob. They'll be straightened in no time. Hi, Wendy. Just checking in. I've got the rope ladder in place, the viewing deck ready, and I'm just about to fix the windows. What about the flag for the top of the treehouse? There's a flag. I haven't got a flag on the schedule. 
Don't worry, I'll make the flag. <clears throat> oh, after I fix my workbench. Hold it steady, Lofty. This glue will set the window, but it's very sticky. We don't want to touch it. How sticky is very sticky? Look, Wendy. Pictures of all the Spring City Rockets' favorite things. They're going to be so impressed. Careful of the sticky stuff, Saffy. Don't worry, Lofty. I'll protect the window. Done. Come on, Wendy. Now we can hang the zip line. What's the matter, Wendy? Is everything okay? The treehouse will be ready, won't it? Everything's fine, Saffy. You go. I'll be along in a minute. Oh, I see. It's very, very sticky. Okay, everything's in place. Dizzy's arrived with the cement. We just need Bob to bring the flag. Wendy! I've just had the best idea. We can put our biggest trophy inside the treehouse. No, Sappy, wait! Dizzy's pouring in cement. That's what's going to hold the support beams in place. Making the treehouse strong and sturdy. The cement has to dry before you can use the treehouse. Okay? Sure. I can wait. There! Now the rocks are ready. Um, Scoop, you should have put the big rocks at the bottom. Why? What's going to happen? Uh, that. That's what's gonna happen. Uh, can you help me clean them up? Sorry, Scoop. It's not on Wendy's schedule. We'll have to deal with them later. Come on, let's go. Well, that's enough waiting. I need to finish the treehouse. All done, Wendy. Poor to perfection. Thanks, Dizzy. So, what's next on the schedule? Can you wait with Muck and Lofty until the cement sets, and then we can check that the job is finished? Sure thing! How's it going, Hero Wendy? Well, I had to paint the floor panel twice, unstick myself from the wall, and then reseal the window. <laughs> Some hero I am. Help! What was that? Oh, no! Sappy! Why were you up there, Saffy? The treehouse isn't ready yet. I guess I didn't wait long enough for the cement to dry. <gasps> the trophy! It's still up there! Oh, what have I done? Don't worry, Saffy. I'll get it. Wendy, it's too dangerous! Oh, I can't reach it. Oh, it's too far down. to set properly. Now we don't have a clubhouse. We've still got time to fix it. Right, Wendy? Team, there's a new schedule, and I need all wheels on deck. Now! Well, you're better at straightening tree houses than you are at straightening rocks, Scoop. <laughs> yes, they're easier to balance. Hold on. 
We have to wait to see if the cement is dry before we can use the treehouse. Right, Wendy? Right, Safi. Yep, the cement is dry, so the treehouse is ready to use. Wow. <laughs> Amazing! Thank you! So, what do you think? I want one! I want one! I want one! <sighs> Room in your schedule for three more, Wendy? Of course. I am a hero after all. Happy birthday, Curtis! <laughs> I can't believe it! How old? Yeah, Dad, you're not getting any younger. Mm, thanks, Leo. Come on, we better go. I'm starving. A great big lunch at Chef Patty's, huh? Now that's a super birthday treat. Now, Bob, until we get back, you'll handle things here at my garage. Are you sure you understand how this place works? No problem, Curtis. Relax. I am relaxed, kind of. Just remember my motto. At Curtis's Garage, we, we put, put the, the service, service into service station. station. Nice one, Bob. <laughs> well, when you're told something ten times, it tends to sink in. Come on, Alfred. Let's go. Happy birthday, Curtis. <laughs> They're gone, Wendy. It's time for part two of our secret plan. Okay, team, this is the secret plan. While Leo is keeping Curtis busy, we are going to be working on a big birthday surprise for him. Oh, wow! Is it a pile of gravel? I love gravel. Is it gravel, Bob? No, Muck. It's not a pile of gravel. We're giving Curtis's garage workshop a complete makeover. I love garages. If I hadn't gone into building, I reckon I could have been a mechanic. What your problem is, buddy boy, is your brakes are all shut. <laughs> well, I need you to be a builder today, Scoop, because we're putting up a new roof, a new sign, and, best of all, installing a new vehicle inspection lift. What's a vehicle inspection lift? Well, Muck, it's a... Uh, uh... It's all right, Lofty, I'll explain. A vehicle inspection lift is a lift to raise vehicles off the ground so they can be inspected underneath. Exactly. Now, we've got a lot to do in not a lot of time. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Maybe we could just get a sandwich from that cafe and head back. A sandwich? I'm just worried about leaving someone else in charge. Oh, come on, Dad. It's not someone else. It's Bob. And it's your birthday. We're about to eat at the best restaurant anywhere in Spring City. So just relax and enjoy it. Prepare for liftoff. I am relaxed. Slowly. Gently. That's it, Lofty. A little to the left. And now all the way down. It's in. Excellent job. Oh, that's one cool machine. Us mechanic types know these things. I could totally fix a car. No problem with the help of one of these. What's Scoop talking about? I don't know. I don't think he does either. Well, that's the final panel of roof in place. All we need to do now is put up the neon sign and take down the scaffolding tower. Looks like we'll have Curtis's surprise finished right on time. As long as there aren't any problems. Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? I seem to have a bit of a problem. What may I do for you today? Uh, what's the quickest thing, Chef Tati? The quickest? Oh, oh, well, the minute steak. That takes a minute. I'll take it. What about you, son? Don't keep the poor man waiting. We've got places we need to be. Um, so what's in the fish pasta? Fish and pasta. Right, OK, good, good. And, uh, ham and mushroom pizza. What's that? It's a pizza with ham and mushrooms on it. And how about the burger and fries? Is that... Uh... Fries and a burger, yeah? Mmm, yummy. I think I'll have all of them. All of them? Now, I'm a bit hungry. OK, 
Okay, Mr. Bentley. I think all the tires are at the right pressure. Yes, but I think maybe a little bit more in this one. What do you think, Philip? Very well, sir. Okay, then. Just a little bit. A little more. A little more? Uh, no, I think that's too much. Bob, you've got a bit of a line building up. Hiya, Bob! Hi, Betsy. I'll be with you soon. We need to get going with hanging the neon sign. I know, but I promised to put the service into service station. Why don't you let out some of the air and we'll start again? Ah. <sighs> uh. Hello? Leo, we're behind schedule, so you're gonna have to stall your dad for a bit longer. Uh, sure thing. So, gentlemen, how about some dessert? No thanks, Chef Tati. I think we're both full, especially one of us. Uh, actually, I think I might have room for one of each. One of each? Oh, now that's one healthy appetite. There. Now, what do you think, Bob? Isn't it flashing ever so slightly too quickly? Huh. Well, it looks okay to me, Mr. Bentley. Or maybe it's flashing ever so slightly too slowly. Let's check it against the other turn signal. So, how are you, Betsy? Well, uh, I've been better, Scoop. I've got this funny rattle, you see? Sounds like junk in your trunk. I beg your pardon? You need to get that looked at quickly. But Curtis isn't here and Bob's much too busy. Well, you seem to know what you're talking about. Yes, I do, don't I? Thank you. In fact, follow me. Coming through, coming through. Minibus in need of immediate mechanical attention. Just hop on there, Bets. Scoop, what are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about. Oh, I always get worried when he says that. I really don't think you should mess around with the lift before Bob checks it's working, okay? Here we go! Up, up, up! That should do it! Now, where's the stop button? Scoop! Where's the stop button? Scoop! Where's the stop button? Oh, no! Betsy! Betsy! Are you okay? I'm fine, Bob. A small little scratch to my paint job, but it looks like your new garage roof got it worse. Oh, I should never have put Betsy on the lift. Now I've damaged her and the new roof. I'm a useless mechanic. I'm sorry, Bob. Don't worry, Scoop. I can handle the damage to the roof and respray Betsy, too. You know, the view from up here is amazing. I can see all the way to Spring City. Oh, there's Curtis and Leo coming down the road. Oh, no! We've not finished the workshop yet, Bob. How are we going to stop Curtis and Leo getting back? I've ruined Curtis's birthday surprise, too. If anyone needs mechanical attention, it's me. That's it! Good job, Scoop. You've just given me an idea. Hi, Bob. We're on our way back. I couldn't eat anymore. Listen, Leo, we need more time to finish the workshop. I've sent Scoop down to meet you. He might need some uh, mechanical attention. Okay, Bob. I get it. Bye. Uh, not so fast, please, Alfred. Nonsense, Alfred. Fast as you can. Makes two of us. Well, Scoop, what's the problem? I've got this funny rattle. Well, I can't hear anything. Yeah, you've, you've got to listen carefully, really carefully, really, really carefully. <coughs> rattle? Oh, uh, I heard that, yeah. Yes, I definitely rattled there. All right. That's the lift, the roof, and the sign all done. I think we're all ready for the birthday boy. Not quite. 
I've got one more surprise up my sleeve. Well, you'd better hurry, because here they come! Happy, Happy birthday, Curtis! Wow! My workshop! I don't know what to say! It was all Leo's idea. And I baked this for you, too. That's amazing! Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, everyone! And Leo, how can I ever thank you for such a wonderful surprise? Well, by the look of him, don't offer him any cake. How are we doing, Bob? Do you think we'll be finished in time? Of course we'll be finished in time! Yes, the new wing of the Natural History Museum will be ready for when Mayor Madison comes to inspect it this afternoon. Uh, Bob, why is it called a Natural History Museum? Well, Muck, that's because it's a collection of things that you find in nature, like animals and flowers. And some of them are from past times, like Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs! That's why these doors are so huge, Leo. So that we can get the dinosaur skeleton inside. A dinosaur skeleton? Oh, cool! Mr. Bentley gave me all the measurements. The skeleton should fit in without any trouble. Wow! I can't wait! Okay, Lofty. Let's get these doors in place. Excuse me? Door handles. I left the door handles back at the yard. I'll have to go back for them. No problem. Plenty of time. We're almost done. Okay, then. Muck can take me. You keep working here. And when you get back, Bob, everything will be finished. Great. I'll be back soon. Real dinosaur skeleton. I can't wait. Just be a minute, Muck. Door knobs, door knockers, door numbers. Ah, door handles. What on earth? Ooh. Ooh, you two stop it. You're making me dizzy. Cooper, stop that. I don't know what you're doing here, Cooper, but I don't have time to take you home right now. What are you going to do, Bob? You can't leave him here with Pilchard. You'll just have to come back with us to the museum while I deliver these door handles. And then I'll take you home. Um, you missed a bit there. Everything's ready. Uh, what's in the bag? Oh, just my sandwich for lunch. I didn't want to miss the arrival of the magnificent Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I thought I could eat my lunch while you lot unload the skeleton. If you're waiting for a dinosaur, it's your lucky day. I've got a really large one here. It's amazing! Very impressive. Lovely bone structure. Okay, let's get it inside. Oh, careful now. That skeleton is 65 million years old. Thank goodness it's not a new one. Easy does it! 
Hold it still a minute. I gotta get some pictures. Oh, beautiful. That doesn't look right. That is never going to get through there. What? But I gave you the exact measurements. What have you done? Oh, you told Bob the doors had to be six yards wide and three yards high. Yes. No. I, I, oh, I meant to say six yards high and three yards wide. Oh, dear me. Uh-oh, this is very bad. The door is too short and the dinosaur is too tall. It's never going to fit inside. But it has to. Mayor Madison is coming soon to make sure everything's ready for tomorrow's opening. But there's no way that dinosaur is gonna get through those doors. What about sideways? Scoop. Uh, there might be a way. If we take the skeleton apart, we can carry all the bones inside, then put them back together again. I don't think that's such a good idea, Lofty. We shouldn't do anything drastic till Bob gets back. But it's getting late, and Mayor Madison will be here soon. I think it's a brilliant idea, Lofty. Come along, everyone. There's a T-Rex to take apart. Dear, this thing is so fiddly. I think this one goes up here. Oh dear. No, it can't be right. Maybe this one. Ugh. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. Oh, this large one must be part of the uh, leg. So it must go here. Uh, oh, doesn't seem to fit. Oh, uh, what about this small one, then? It's part of the tail, isn't it? it uh, or maybe the left foot? No? Oh, dear. What on earth? What happened? Sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I was just trying to help. No, Lofty. I'm the guilty party, I'm afraid, Bob. I got this fellow's height and width all mixed up. We couldn't get the skeleton through the doors. So we took it apart. And now we can't remember how to put it back together again. I'm sure we can fix it. Can't we? Oh, dear. It's like a big puzzle, isn't it? If only we had a picture of what it looked like before you took it all apart. Wait! We do! We do what? We do have a picture. Leo took some photos on his phone. That's right, I did. Oh, that's where that piece goes. Oh, yes, splendid, splendid. Now, we've got no time to lose. Let's get this figured out before the mayor arrives. Now I can relax and maybe even get to eat my lunch in peace. No, wait. What? There's one bone missing. But there can't be. It's impossible. Where can it have gone? <laughs> Cooper! <laughs> now what? Cooper? That's a good boy. Give me the bone. Come on, Cooper. Good doggy. Let us have the bone, please. <laughs> oh, dear me. Mayor Madison will be here any second. Ah, if only we had something tasty we could offer Cooper instead of that bone. What, like a tasty scrumptious sandwich? But, but that's my lunch. Well, I think I can hear the mayor coming along now. Couldn't we just... It, well, um... Oh, all right. Here you are. 
Here, Cooper. Yummy sandwich. Come on, boy. Hello, Bob. Hi, team. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Madison. Well, who'd have thought? Spring City's very own T-Rex skeleton. Any problems getting it here, Mr. Bentley? Problems? No, no, no. I supervise the whole operation. You know you can always trust me to get the job done without any fuss. Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh Cooper! Oh, oh, Mr. Bentley, oh, stop playing with that dog. I want no. to see the dinosaur. I never knew Please. Mr. Bentley liked animals so much. Oh, boy, get off me! No, 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 no! 